So how do you maintain the belief that something better is coming when the you-know-what keeps hitting the fan? Yes. It's an excellent question, and it's something you fight for. And the thing about faith and belief is it wouldn't exist without doubt. It's literally the different side of the same coin. And so without doubting yourself and having things that set you back, you would never practice the skill of believing even though it's there. And so for me, when things get really dark or I feel very overwhelmed or I start to feel incredibly sad or pessimistic, there's a couple things that I always do. Number one, I find that getting outside, typically with my dog, and getting out into the woods at whatever park you can go to and getting out for even just a 20 minute walk is enough to just clear my head. And there's also a lot of research about how being out in the woods outside and not talking and taking just a walk as your dog's running around stimulates your parasympathetic nervous system and calms your nervous system down. The second thing that I do is I always go back to the basics. Always. And the basics for me are very simple. No phone in the bedroom, plug in at night. When the alarm goes off, get my ass out of bed. Do not look at that phone uh, if I'm in a rough state for at least an hour in the morning and plan my day. Always adding in exercise, even if you hate it because of all the research about what it does for your brain and for depression and for anxiety and for focus. Forcing myself to connect with a friend. Those basic things reset me all the time. And then I think it's really important, um, this is another trick, make sure that you are constantly editing your social media feeds if you're on social media. Because social media is for you. And your social media feed, you have to understand something. You are granting people one of the most valuable commodities on the planet, your attention. And so that should be a very selfish, curated flow of information. If it does not serve you, if it does not make you better, if it does not make you positive, get rid of that shit. If you're embarrassed because you don't want Susie Q from high school to know that you're not following her, especially now that she's ramping up her political opinions, which everybody has, you. But you can use that to either make yourself feel less than and unworthy by following accounts that constantly make you angry or pissed or feeling depressed or whatever it is, or you can edit that and realize that is a free tool that should be utilized to make your mindset better, to make you feel optimistic, to make you happy because you're seeing people you care about, follow people that are doing the things that you're interested in because all the information is out there and then just start mimicking what they're doing and you'll let them, you'll let them do it. Hey, it's Mel. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't already subscribed, please, please, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you like this video, I have a suspicion you're going to like these two next.